So today, Shannon Sharp came out and he said, how about LeBron James teaming up with Kevin Durant in Brooklyn? I wouldn't be shocked. I'm one of these kind of people, they both might need each other. They play like they rivals. They play like they don't, you know. Now, we know LeBron would play with anybody that's an all-star. He has no shame, okay? He he'll, he will panhandle for anybody. He panhandle for Steph Curry. He will panhandle. They do kind of need each other now because they're both near the end of their careers. They both past their peak and their prime. They both then saw that playing with Kyrie ain't necessarily going to work out. They kind of dancing around. Would I be shocked? No. I lay it out there for you. LeBron probably wants to get back to the East. He's our war is welcome. He already made his Space Jam movie. So ain't much he going to do except, you know, he can do the business thing. Come back to New York, you know. And do well in that situation, that capacity. But uh, they both kind of do need each other. They're they not exactly burning the league up separated. You know, Durant last year was a toe on the line. Got knocked out in the second round. LeBron got hurt. The Lakers are a mess with AD. Knocked out first round last year. And this year didn't even make it. And despite Adam Silver trying to bend over and extend more of a highway Remember when you see them old, uh, if you ever had a Hot Wheels and you had a, a set and the car could go round and round around a circle and you didn't ever, it never ending? That was what Adam Silver was trying to create for the playoffs and they still couldn't get them in. So, yeah, probably tag up two aging superstars who are past their peak and their prime. But I'm going to tell them something. Y'all can get together all you want. You ain't stopping Giannis out to Pupo. Giannis is his world. He'll bam on both of you. He he takes pleasure in bamming on you either way. So get together and just get your feelings hurt. Because I know, to be honest with you, one of you should try to team up with him. He need help. Now, you want to talk about somebody who could use some help in Milwaukee? He could use cats who just want to score to compliment. Really. I mean, that's what leadership's about, you know. Since they out there and they were recruiting and that's what they want to do. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised at all. And I heard Jenny Buss. I know Phil Jackson's been in her ear because he really ain't feeling LeBron. And I understand. They do got to get young. And I don't know about giving LeBron no contract extension. People talk all this talk. I'd say trade him. I'd say trade AD too. I don't know about Westbrook. I don't know what all you're going to get. I would let them go. That bubble ring is all you're going to get. LeBron's getting old. Yeah, he's going to pass the Kareem Rocker, and that's going to be nice, but what else you got? And what else AD going to do? I mean, come on now. It's not like they're going to attract, because they're tied up financially. So how do you un you strap the cash? You got to unload, and you got to try to get younger, and you got to try to rebuild. So, yeah, put LeBron with KD. I don't think, it's not because I got any expectations, because train wrecks didn't already happen, you know. I don't see nothing happen. They should be long together since they play the super team go long. That in that particular area is coming to an end, by the way. When you see young teams like Memphis, when you see, um, you know, I look around, I see what Giannis is doing with Milwaukee. You know, it's one thing if you add a piece or a part Phoenix did with Chris Paul coming and playing with Booker and all that, you know, but, but, but that particular era is coming to an end. I, I already said that LeBron, KD, and I think Steph's next in line because a lot depends on what they can do, you know. They might get through Memphis without Ja Morant, but Ja's coming in a couple years. After Giannis dominate, Ja's coming. Giannis, Giannis and Ja, I see a battle brewing there, you know. People might laugh when I say Milwaukee and Memphis battling for the jewelry in the future. Um, that era of the basketball, all this Celtic love and the Lake of Love and all this name brand, the big city, don't mean jack. You know, as I'm telling you, I can say that as a Miami Heat fan because the Heat actually need a big name, I think, to be the Giannis. I'm being real. I like Jimmy. Jimmy Butler is very good. Bam is good. But the Pat Riley, I know. One of them guys 
would be the key, ironically. I think that's the only thing that Miami kind of is missing is that kind of aura guy that, that dude that could do it. But being honest with you, that style of NBA is almost coming to a screeching halt. I'm telling you, the grind it up is happening. But if LeBron and, and Durant get together, hey, would I be shocked now? Because this is what this this LeBron, Durant, that type of thing of go along, get along, buddy, buddy. This is what they want. All right, but give me your thoughts. Do you want LeBron and KD together? Get together and get knocked out in the first round if they even make it, if they can stay healthy. Because, I mean, come on now. And I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know. Shake my head on that. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind closed. Watch out for another. And I wouldn't be shocked. Because for somehow Shannon Sharp to come out and say it like that, what have you heard? I'm out.